This video is going to take you guys through exactly how to edit scripts, how to upload your scripts, and in general, just how to work the Chronos Send Studios app. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Chronos Send Studio app should have been downloaded by now. All the firmware should have been updated. I'm assuming you've gotten to that point. Click on the app that's on your desktop. Mine is right there, so I'm going to double click on that. Now, this is the first screen that you're going to see. You need to plug in your Chronos Send. The cable that goes into the right side, I'm going to plug that into the right side of the Chronos Send. And as you see, here's the library. This is where all these scripts and everything, anything that's been updated, this is where you're going to find it. Let me teach you how to use this really quick. It's really not that bad. So at the top right there, you've got your different tabs. We don't really need to go over those yet, but we will. First thing I want to show you is this is the different sections that you can use to up, update your Zen basically. Compiler is where you're gonna see and where you can edit scripts. Programmer is where you're going to either use game packs or upload your scripts. I'll show you that in a minute. The device is so you can practice and see if it's hooked up properly to see what, you know, if you wanted to use uh, the Xbox specifically, you would have to call it that. Auto works for me, you don't really have to do anything there. And this is mouse and keyboard settings. This one is a little different. I will show you another video on this later. But here's where we are. Show all in the first tab below all of those. You can show for Xbox One. You can show for Xbox 360, PS4, or, you know, leave it at show all so you get all of them there. This one here, recently added, what ratings they have. The title, if you wanted to look for a certain author, you could do that. And that'd be, you know, for example, you could also do that by clicking on this one, Author Anonymous. And then it'll show you the user, show all. Um, Thad, for example, is really popular because he's got the COD Pro script right there. Version 7.0.0. And you'll see all of his scripts that he's uploaded. So if you just wanted to use him, you could do that. If you wanted to use Zen product only, or if you wanted to use Cronus Max, you could also press that over there. These are filters that you can utilize to help you weed out the mess that is in here because there's a lot in there and I know that could be kind of confusing and kind of crazy. The other option is right down here so you can search specifically what video game you want to play for or find. As we're looking through this, we've got this user. I'm just going to go back to show all, so all the original settings. Chronos said nothing up there. I've kept that blank. Down here, if we want to look for, let's say, Call of Duty. So COD. Hit search. All the COD stuff is now going to come up. Now that you see that, keyword COD, author, all product, now we want to go to what's been recently updated. So you can get the latest script for COD. And you've got all of them right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and download the first one that I see, which is this button right there, the little save button. So you can see it's right here. That's what we're looking at. We want to save this. So right click on this little spot right here. We're going to go through this in a minute too, by the way. But right click, save this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it directly to my desktop, uh, the number five. Why not? Okay. Now, before we do anything else, go to Programmer. These are the game packs. We're not messing with those. Do you see this section right here, Zen? This right there is your GPC scripts. Click on that. And the thing that I just saved is now right here, five. I'm going to drag that down right to here. Then hit your save button. Should save. We'll see what happens. If it doesn't, we try again. Okay, successful. Cool. Now we have that one right there. Go back to the compiler. This is very specific. You guys are going to probably have to read a lot. If you want me to read all this to you, I can. I don't think that's necessary. I think you can read everything that's in here. Here are the features, the main features right there that everybody wants, okay? So anti-recoil, compensates recoil, just tells you what it does. These are the instructions. Reload cancel, that's a big one, and so on and so forth. We'll move on from there. Anyway, here's what the menu options look like on the Zen itself, and that's how you can change all this up. If you read all these notes, this guy gives you a very clear indication of what you can do with the script that he's created. This will give you a really good idea. You can also change things if you want to change them. Like I can edit this right now. So this is where you would edit scripts. 
A lot of the scripts, I know people want them to be plug and play. So this may not work for you. You may have to find a different script and we can do that. You can do that. You can find them. The guy that I work with makes scripts for people that are specific to what they want. As always, I recommend having a backup. So if the script bugs out on you in game for any reason, you have a backup option. Uh, you can use, I always use Doom Eternal because I love that one and I've got it listed as one of my favorites. So the tab right there for favorite, Doom Eternal, Destiny 2, whichever ones you feel like work best for you, that's where you would do that. This isn't a game pack video, but we can also go over some of these in a minute or in another video too, where you just drag and drop, it shows up, and then from there you set up exactly what you want for these weapons. So your primary weapons, so on and so forth. Okay, let me uh, get rid of that. I'm going to leave this one uploaded because I like this one, and I'm just going to leave that uploaded. I can always change it within the Zen itself. So hit the save button right here. Quick and easy, nothing to it. You're going to have to play around with the different scripts and see which ones you prefer. And again, I got my guy in Discord. You guys pay us a little bit of money, we'll make you a script. Anyway, that is this right there. Let's go on to what it looks like on the Zen itself. So you guys can get a good idea of what to expect using that. Okay, guys. So this is the next part of the video. This is setting it up with your Chronos Zen because you have your script now. Your script is officially uploaded to your Chronos device, but you might have to do some edits on the fly. Here's how we do that. You got to hook up your Zen first. So small USB cable right here. And that's going to hook up into your PC or into your console. Now, before I do that, I'm going to get my, I'm going to get my other cable here. Now, if you're playing on PC, this has to be hooked up into the A1 port, which is this side right there. Consoles can use either one of these. So I'm going to hook up to the A1 port because I am playing on PC because I'm awesome. I mean, because that's what I have. Moving this over, hook up right here. You can see that it's officially turned on. So typically speaking, you'll get something like a little bit of a menu or something like that, or maybe even a screensaver. So right there with your Zen, use this button, because now we're hooked up. That's your screensaver, by the way. That's all that is. Hit this button. You see it says slot one called Pro. That's the script that I downloaded from the Zen Studio site. The first thing it's gonna tell you is to use your left trigger and your menu button. Hold that down and boom. The immediate change right there it lets you know you can now adjust things, the mods or the settings. So using your D-pad up and down, I'm going to go for mods. Hitting the A button, you can see anti-recoil. Using the D-pad again, pressing down or pressing up will turn it on and off. So right there I'm going to turn it on. Slow down button. If you want to turn it on, turn it off, same thing. Slow down is an ADS feature where you aim down sight and it slows down the sensitivity of your controller on the fly. So then you'll be able to slow down the accuracy. It'll help you with like the aim assist. It's a cool little feature. Okay, auto reload on and off. It's up to you guys, whatever you want. Jump shot, so every time you pull your trigger down, you'll jump through the little bunny hops. Totally up to you if you want something like that. Now, if you want to back out of this and save all of these things, you hit the B button down here at the settings menu. ADS time, aim down sight time, you know, humanize inputs, Recommended for Modern Warfare 2 and on. So leave that on. There's a bunch of stuff in there. If you guys read through the script, which you should have, then you'll have an understanding of what these things are doing. I'm going to hit the B button and back out of both. Now it's officially on. Each script has a different way of saving, by the way. The one that I used, you can back out by using the B button. There's other scripts that you might have to hit the Xbox button for it to save. It all depends. And the script itself, itself should be able to tell you exactly what you need to do to save it on the Zen itself. All right, my dudes, that's the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoy the closing clip. Just to reiterate, no Zen was used for this footage. This is Golden Tricorn times two. That's why everyone's going down so fast. Love you guys. Keep it Zen out there. I'll see you in the next one.